Um, hi, my name is Sun Lin. I'm a year 4 student in the School of Information Systems here at SMU. Uh, I'm here to share with you your, my SSI, SIS journey and I hope that um, you will be able to take away some things. So, perhaps most of you come from junior colleges or polytechnics where the instructor or the professor uh, will just upload the information all to you and students will just be doing this, the listening and copying down the notes. But here in SMU, our unique pedagogy allows the uh, professors to actually just implant a concept in the students and the students will just um, take away from this concept and um, in, here in SIS we actually emphasize a learning to learn skill which consists of for example search skills whereby students will be searching for information efficiently and effectively know where to search for this information and what information to search for relevant to uh, the concept or the course of study as well as uh, learning methodology skills, which way to most efficiently and most productively uh, complete a certain homework and uh, learn more about this concept. So, um, in essence, the learning to learn skill actually emphasizes on uh, how to learn some concept rather than the actual hard facts that are taught. So it's like more like giving the man a fish, um, uh, um, no, teaching a man to fish rather than giving the man the fish. Okay, so this was me four years ago in SIS um, Java Enrichment class. So for most of you who um, maybe don't know how to do programming or don't know how to code, um, don't worry because SIS actually has this enrichment class for us even before school starts. And other than hard skills, SIS also taught me a lot of soft skills through team projects. And um, this is my team and we through this project, we projects we actually learn about um, different things like analysis and design, um, implementation, project management, uh, as well as most importantly how to work together as a team. Uh, this is my team who actually won the Credit Suisse uh, Merit Award in Software Engineering and all these are um, emphasizing on learning to learn skills because all of the um, project um, tasks that we do, not all of them are taught in class, a lot of them are self-learned because uh, we are aware of learning to learn. We also apply learning to learn um, in our internships and for me, I was actually a strategic foresight intern in the Infocom Development Authority of Singapore where I was tasked to do uh, to make up a PHP based internal reporting system and um, do a lot of other research such as doing, looking at the mega trends of uh, global technologies, doing big data research, um, I also worked with different vendors from IDA and um, this is my Infocom Technology Roadmap working team whereby we actually organized a conference. Yeah, this is an inaugural conference attended by 250 uh, industry professionals as well as uh, government um, officers. And um, I was also in charge of doing the foresight bulletin which is sent out to all the people within the government sector weekly. These are some of the um, skills that I learned from my summer internship. And in addition, I also had the opportunity to go for a global internship. Um, I was an information systems analyst in a startup in Hong Kong called Intercultural Education Asia. And um, I was part of an international working team. I did a lot of things for the startup, such as uh, doing up their uh, website managing their knowledge management as well as implementing a change management plan and um, all these are the different skill sets that I've learned in SIS and applied in my internship and through SIS I was also able to go to uh, have the opportunity to go to Beijing in China on a technopreneurship study mission whereby um, I was interacting with Chinese business leaders uh, doing few visits to the Silicon Valley of China in Dongguanchun and um, also looking for um, so, um, internships in China. So if you're an entrepreneur, SIS is also the place for you. Um, in the wider SMU community, I also had a lot of opportunities to go abroad. So for example, this is my overseas community service trip in my child Vietnam. Um, my exact internship in Nantou, Taiwan, as well as my international student exchange, whereby I spent six months in Hong Kong and had the opportunity to travel to neighboring uh, countries. In SIS, we work hard and play hard, so these are some of the pictures whereby we enjoy ourselves. But um, SIS is also a very um, collaborative uh, community, so we do a lot of peer-to-peer -peer learning. 
And um, SIS is one of the closest knit community in SMU. Um, we do a lot of project-based learning and uh, through this we do a lot of collaborative learning. So I would like to bring up an example. Uh, this is my architecture analysis module whereby the professors actually gave us like sample exam papers from past years but without the answers. So what the community did was actually, as you can see, we use a collaborative tool such as Google Documents for everyone to record down uh, what they think are the correct answers and to have, a dis um, to have a discussion. So in this, we actually learn from each other and uh, collaboratively, we come up with a set of answers that uh, we think best suits the um, exam questions and this is for the good of everyone. No one is as smart as everyone. So um, we are uh, termed as good problem solvers here in SIS because we tap on the knowledge of everybody. And my IS application project is the capstone of my SIS education. I was a project design architect in uh, my team doing systematic insight based selling. Um, we actually did a request for proposal uh, cloud web application um, using SAP UI5 in the front end and um, advanced ontology technologies in the back end. And um, we actually worked with clients who are situated in uh, Germany, so we actually had to collaborate between Germany and Singapore. And this was another soft skill that uh, I learned in the project, and I am very sure that this will bring me a long way in my career. So um, that's all for my journey in SIS. Thank you for um, taking interest to join SIS, and I want to hear your future stories as well.